Welcome to Tales of Honor Podcast, a podcast dedicated to telling the true stories of the Congressional Medal of Honor. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Tales of Honor Podcast. I'm your host, Christoph Ambrose, and today's episode is episode 161. This is the last episode before Christmas, so I do want to wish you all a very Merry Christmas. This episode is being brought to you by the good people over at Combat Flip Flops. Head on over to CombatFlipFlops.com. It may be a little late to get some presents under the tree from Combat Flip Flops, but it's never too late to get somebody something from Combat Flip Flops. They have great stuff over there, obviously flip flops, some uh, awesome jewelry made from unexploded landmines and other ordnance. And knowing that the profits of their sales go to help educate Afghan women and girls and also clear more landmines and other unexploded ordnance over in Laos is also a good reason to go purchase from Combat Flip Flops because they are trying to help flip the view on how wars are won with business and not bullets. And now, a tale of honor. George was born on the 7th of September, 1867, in Ireland, and he joined the U.S. Navy on the 30th of November, 1884. It was his actions as a chief gunner's mate during the Spanish-American War that would earn him the Medal of Honor. The citation reads, Chief gunner's mate on board the torpedo boat Winslow for gallant and conspicuous conduct in the action at Cardenas, Cuba, May 11, 1898. Brady's energy in assisting to sustain fire, his efforts to repair the steering gear under fire, and his promptness in maintaining closed, watertight doors and hatches was largely instrumental in saving the vessel. In addition to receiving the Medal of Honor, George was also promoted to the rank of gunner on the 27th of June, 1898, and was soon reassigned to the Naval Torpedo Station in Newport, Rhode Island. Five years later, he was on board the USS Monongahela, when he died at the age of 36 from suicide. It was later found that shortly before the 6th of November, 1903, George had stated that the pain was unbearable, but it is unclear what pain he was talking about. George's military records show him having a middle initial of F, which was most likely mistranscribed, and this would lead to him not being well known since his gravestone has his middle initial as a P. Over 100 years after his death, A Pawtucket, Rhode Island resident found his gravestone and saw that it did not say that he was a Medal of Honor recipient. On the 11th of November, 2013, a Medal of Honor grave marker was dedicated by representatives of the U.S. Navy and local veterans. George Patrick Brady is buried in the Island Cemetery in Newport, Rhode Island. And that was a Tale of Honor. Thank you so much for listening to Tales of Honor podcast. And if you like this podcast, please be sure to leave a nice review, a good rating, and tell a friend. You can see more information over on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and at talesofhonorpodcast.com. If you have any questions or comments, you can send them on over to talesofhonorpodcast at gmail.com. And until next time, I'm Christoph Ambrose. Merry Christmas, and thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.